Hey everyone, Kai Hatsa here, and welcome to Culture Bits, another new series of videos aimed at looking at various aspects of culture and history that have shaped the video games we play today. Because it's October, I thought I'd start with the obligatory Halloween episode, so today I'm going to prove to you that the Triforce from The Legend of Zelda is a work of evil. <laughs> Many people often assume that the Triforce symbol from The Legend of Zelda is derived from the emblem of the Hojo clan of Japan during the 13th to 14th century. But what if I told you that there was another possible origin of the Triforce? One that was just as old, but more sinister. This book is the Key of Solomon, a 14th century grimoire that features many different magic rituals, ranging from how to make yourself invisible to summoning various entities. The book also features an extensive chapter on various pentacles and their uses within the practice of magic. The pentacles each have different properties, are used for different purposes, and are aligned with different planets. But one in particular stands out. The third pentacle of Mars. Look familiar? It should, because right in the middle of that pentacle is none other than the Triforce. Of course, I understand that this one piece of evidence doesn't support this being the origin of the Triforce, but there's more. The book's original description also supports this being the origin of the Triforce. <coughs> it is of it's great, great value, value for exciting for war, war, wrath, discord, discord and hostility, and hostility. Also, also for resisting, resisting enemies, enemies and striking, and striking terror, terror into rebellious, rebellious spirits. spirits. The names, the names of, God, of God the All-Powerful are therein expressly marked. marked. The last part doesn't really matter, but what does is what the pentacle is used for. Exciting war, wrath, Resisting enemies? All sounds like it could deal with the Triforce of Courage and Power. The planetary correspondence of this pentacle can even be related to the Zelda franchise. The Illustrated Guide to Traditional Symbols by J.C. Cooper gives a detailed description of what the planet Mars represented all over the world. <clears throat> An armed man, sometimes mounted on a horse, usually carries a banner or lance, or sometimes a sword or whip, represents the positive, active, and masculine, the passions the passional and courageous. Sound familiar? Perhaps like a certain hero of Hyrule? The Key of Solomon was not commercially printed until very recently, but is now regarded as a key text for those studying the dark arts or for those who partake in occult practices, so has a certain reputation for being associated with a certain demographic. Also, it was in Supernatural. Despite the Triforce symbol being used for multiple organizations, companies, belief systems and cultures throughout the world, this cultural tie seems to oddly fit for some reason. The Key of Solomon is a very interesting book, which holds even more secrets, which relate to an even bigger franchise of games. But I'll cover that in another video. So, what do you think? Occult relation? Or misinterpretation? Leave your opinion.